Now, there's a couple of um, swimmers that are looked at in the world as almost unbeatable. You know, uh, Sarah's one of them, and, and Caleb Dressel's another one. Um, as a competitor, as somebody that's beaten her, um, what do you think about that? I mean, they're the greatest of all time, in our, especially for Sarah in my event in history. She has the top 10, 10 of the top 11 times in, the, in history. So I think that's crazy. I mean, I beat her once, but she's going to remain a great competitor, and I can't wait to race her again, hopefully next summer, and uh, hopefully we can have another crack at it. What do you say to people who think that Sarah or Caleb or, or somebody else is unbeatable? What do you say to them? I don't know if I would say anything. Uh, I mean, they are amazing, but I mean, it's kind of just whatever happens on the day, and you can't really control that, but it's just whoever brings it on the day of. Well, I'll tell you what, I was super impressed uh, with your swim. Uh, I thought it was absolutely incredible. It's nice to see people do things that other people don't think are possible, honestly. I mean, um, I don't think anybody thought that you were going to win that race other than you and maybe your parents or your coach. And so um, for us to see that, it really shows us that um, anybody can win at any point in time if they, if they um, you know, hit their race plan, they believe in themselves and they execute uh, the race. Uh, I think it's extraordinary. And I think you've given a lot of hope to a lot of people. And I hope, I hope people draw from it the way I've drawn from it. Like um, you inspire me, you know, like you show us what is possible. And I think that's fantastic. And um, I'm truly inspired by you. So I, I really wanted to chat with you and let you know that. Um, 